Why is it every single day I look on YouTube and some there's some drama about the D'Amelio family? Last month, it was the D'Amelio family cheated on the Mr. Beast competition. A few weeks ago, it's Dixie D'Amelio and Noah Beck are faking their relationship. And this week, it's Dixie D'Amelio is ungrateful and Charlie D'Amelio is being cancelled. Charlie D'Amelio apparently lost a million followers on TikTok because she made one comment at dinner. And Dixie D'Amelio is being called ungrateful because... Wait, dinner as well? They're both being cancelled because of the same dinner? So welcome to episode one of Dinner with the D'Amelios. What happens when... 40 on trending. The D'Amelio family has become so popular that now they have their own YouTube channel. One million subscribers. And it seems like they're starting a brand new series called Dinner with a Guest. Where every single episode they're gonna have dinner with a random guest and have a chef come in and just and cook for them. All because of this debut episode. Charlie D'Amelio has lost 1 million followers on TikTok and Dixie D'Amelio is being spat on by her fans. 100,000 dislikes this video has. What, what could she possibly have done? This is what happens when TikTokers try to start a YouTube channel. They should have more dislikes than likes. Legit cannot watch this. It's so bad. So at the beginning, they're all guessing, oh, who's our guest going to be? This is going to be a great surprise. Somebody has to know. Didn't they book the guest? And it's James Charles, everyone. It's James Charles. And I'd like to note that the chef is right here in the background cooking up their meals. This is like a Michelin star restaurant experience. Tiny heirloom tomatoes, chives, red onion, and a uh, plant-based feta cheese. Ooh. For those of you who prefer plant-based. Wow, okay, Chef Aaron May. Chef Aaron May seems like a good guy. Okay, so first dish, they have a little bit of a salad. Second dish, they have, what is it, paella? This is unwatchable, it's so boring. Even Charlie D'Amelio was giving a fake laugh because she doesn't care. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We're starting to approach the part where she's getting cancelled. Here we go. So Dixie D'Amelio is looking through her food and she seems a little surprised at what she's eating. She's like, what the frig is this? I, I have no idea what this is. And like, why, why now do you want to get more involved with the business type stuff? Because I remember when I first met you, I was, I was being like, babe, no, 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 get it together. You need to be paying attention. Like, you need to be looking at contracts. You need to be looking at this. You need to be understanding deal terms. Because a lot of people don't. But unfortunately, that's how a lot of influencers... What is everyone laughing at? What is this? <laughs> oh my god. It's a mushroom. No, it's not. That's a snail. It, oh my it god. is a snail. <gasps> oh! It's a snail. It's, it's, it's the caracol. It's classic in Paya, and it's actually uh, a, a omen of good luck and fortune. I just touched its liver. <laughs> oh my god. Liver? There's a... It's... <laughs> Wow, that's a pretty intense reaction. Is she having an exorcism? Ooh, uh, uh. Your comments to yourself. The chef's right there. You might want to be a little bit respectful. It's a little strange that you're doing this all in... How old are you again? They're lucky to be getting big meals like that. But the manners were terrible. I love how this has 6.7 thousand upvotes. Even though it's the worst grammar. James literally just eat and didn't complain at all. Classic to put in my uh, It's part of what they would call the Mario Montagna. You know, see in the land. And uh, it brings you good luck and good fortune to eat it. Try it. It tastes like when a big wave hits you. Do it. And you Does it actually bring you good luck? Good luck and good fortune, yes. Liars. <gasps> Just do it. Oh, Dixie, wait. No, you're getting... Mmm, yummy. See? <laughs> it sometimes happens when... Oh, God. So dramatic. Don't be so dramatic, yeah. Excuse dude. yourself. Is she being real? Or is yeah. she being dramatic? Oh, she actually threw up. <laughs> oh no, she threw up? Cancelled. Wait, did her, did the dad say that she's being dramatic? Cancelled. You're all cancelled at this table. Why Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio are losing followers after dissing an Arizona chef's paella? Oh. <laughs> Classic Dixie. Do we have any dino nuggets? Ew. Oh. Wait, what did she say? She asked for dino nuggets when this chef slaved in the kitchen for this beautiful meal? <laughs> Classic Dixie. Do we have any dino nuggets? Classic Dixie. So dramatic. Classic Dixie. I like how the internet's going crazy because of that clip. It's probably your parents' fault for not teaching her better manners. And who's to say that she's not playing it up for the cameras? It's a brand new show. Let's see what the chef has to say about it because everyone is complaining that he, she's being disrespectful to the chef. What do the chef say? What is going on with all this snail drama? 
You know, there was a somebody on production thought it would be funny to okay. feed Dixie and Charlie snails. Okay. <laughs> they didn't take it the best. I love Dixie and Charlie. I've worked okay. with them before. I'm going to work with them again. Okay. I think it's a little blown out of proportion. It was on purpose. Okay. It was a prank. It was a prank. So the production was pranking Charlie and Dixie. And they got the reaction that they wanted. They just didn't know that their fans would hate it. It was the best face though. Oh! <laughs> like, what is this? Because a lot of people don't. Oh! But on <laughs> what is that? Oh my god, did she really reply on TikTok? Guys, if you are here to comment hate like this, maybe hold on one second and know the full story. So my family and I have been working with Chef Aaron May for a couple months now, working on content for our channel and working on content for his channel and made an amazing friendship. And before I even get into anything, I'm so grateful for every single person that follows me, every single person I care about, every single person I work with, every single person who works with me because I'm just so grateful of all of the opportunities I've had. So I would never in any way want to be taken as disrespectful, especially from an out of context 15 second clip. So basically my team knows I throw up a lot. I could throw up at the smell, the thought, or the taste of anything. So when they saw the snails, they were like, oh, let's get her and try to see if we can get a reaction out of her. Why is she talking so fast? She sounds like James Charles. Charlie does not need me. I became absolutely disgusting. I don't need Charlie and Charlie does not need me. I became friends with the Demilio family as a whole very, very early on because this is all very, very new to them. And I wanted to be a friend and a mentor in any way that I possibly could. And Charlie and I, despite not being the same. Okay, so that's one canceling out of the way. What else do we have here? Oh, right. I forgot. Charlie D'Amelio um, being ungrateful for her followers. She made one tiny little comment at this exact same dinner and all hell broke loose. Look at this. <laughs> they have live sub counts of Charlie D'Amelio losing followers. Okay, let's continue watching this video and see exactly what she said. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. In one year. If we're thinking about it, okay, how far away? That's Friday. Okay. Oh, I wish it, I wish I had like more time. Cause imagine if I hit a hundred mil a year after hitting a mil. Was the ninety-five not enough for you? <laughs> well, I was just like saying, like even number. Wait, whoa, okay, ooh, canceled. Did she just say that she wishes she hits a hundred million followers a year after that she hit a million? So she wants more time. That's despicable. How can you say that? Your fans aren't just numbers; they're human beings. And that's why she's that's why she's losing subs. That's a little weird. That's a weird reason to she's how old is she? 16, 17 years old. She's a kid. She has like weird goals. She only has 98 million now and it's still going down. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, follow them so Charlie can get to 100 million. <laughs> Everyone's laughing because she doesn't have 100 million anymore. What I've been thinking and what has happened yesterday, I feel like you guys obviously have a right to an explanation and apology due to the fact that I am a public figure and people need to stop making apology videos on Instagram live of all things why do people make videos on Instagram live it doesn't make any it's like a press conference it's the new app to do press conferences and Dixie D'Amelio is a tr she's so young that's why I never make fun of her like why, why would people are bullying a child basically people are like Trisha Paytas young but I do think since they are role models on such a big platform, they should be called out when they need to be humbled a little because... Okay, Trisha Paytas, nobody cares. You have to realize the reason that I don't want to speak out is because I know I'm going to get stuff like people telling me to hurt myself or people telling me, like, you cannot like me but not attack the way I look or the fact that you don't want me here. Like, that's where I kind of... And draw the line and imagine having to go on Instagram live and explain yourself just because you said oh I want to hit a hundred million a year after I hit a million I'm getting there too quickly who cares I know I wouldn't be here without you guys which is why I'm so appreciative and why I know that everything that you guys say and which is why I, I try my best to answer people and and talk to you guys like especially like on Twitter and everything like I feel like it was all just one huge misunderstanding. It was one huge misunderstanding. Okay, she apologized. Is everybody happy now? Oh, snap. Her sub count is still going down. Y'all unfollowed her for being excited for 100 mil? I know, right? It wasn't something where I truly meant to be hurtful or truly meant to just put anyone down. It was literally, like, just a misunderstanding. Man, man, the internet sucks. What's going on? Like, I make fun of Dixie D'Amelio because she's an unenthusiastic TikToker. She's a terrible actress. But I'm not going to make fun of Charlie D'Amelio. 
Like, she's a kid. Holy smokes, everyone. Relax. Make fun of the parents. Like, what are these guys doing? Why are they leeching off of their kid's fame? It's weird. Big thumbs up for Aaron May, the amazing chef that cooked us this delicious meal. What happens when... Oh, God. So dramatic. Don't be so dramatic, yeah. Excuse dude. So dramatic. Don't be so dramatic. Make fun of the parents. So dramatic. That's embarrassing for your kids. You're scarring your kids for life. They're looking into the camera. Oh, that's, she's so dramatic. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. I wasn't going to post this video today, but hey, here I am. What are you going to do about it? Also, I posted another video on my... Oh, shoot. Is it up right now? Oh, it is. Frig. Come on, unboxing video is up. So also check that out on Asha Extra, and I'll be back very soon with a brand new video. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> You're so stupid for that.